What I'm fixing to be making here in a minute is called alcohol. You can call it moonshine, ethanol, whatever you want to call it. So this is how you do it. From step number one. What this right here is, it's the mash. This is the stuff you mix, uh, mix stuff with that make turns um, turns all the stuff into alcohol. So this is the first step right here. The mash looks very tasty, don't it? But in reality, it's not. First thing you do to make the mash. You need some water, sugar, corn, one pack of yeast. You combine all four of those ingredients together. You warm it up, let it boil for about 10 minutes on a low boil, let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Then you leave it in a container for one week, maybe two weeks, let it ferment. Once you're done letting it ferment, ferment, whatever you want to call it, for about a, a week or two, you pour all the liquid out into another container. So what you do, you can either pour it into the other container, or you use a little scoop. What I'm doing, because what I'm doing, right, what I'm using, what I'm doing right here, is only a small batch of alcohol. It may make just a pint. It may just make a half a gallon at the maximum. In the boiler, you pour it into the boiler. Or known as a still. Like how I'm doing, you pour it in the still. Now we're step number three. In order to do this process correctly, you have to do three things on a boiler. You gotta have a tip. At this end, when you boil the stuff to 173 degrees, don't boil it any hotter, otherwise you'll have va water vapors coming out and it won't be no alcohol. So in order to do that, at the end of this still or the boiler, you gotta hook up a hose or a coil. It's recommended a copper coil to go on this. A copper coil or copper tubing. But I'm taking a shortcut here. Instead I got a rubber line. Somehow when it when the uh, steam or the vapor goes through here, it's got to be cooled and condensed. Then at this end right here it turns into liquid. What comes out the, at the end of this hose right here will be pure alcohol. It's supposed to be 180, 200 proof. So, like what I said, from this tip right here, from this tip here, you have to have a copper line running all the way, all the way. Then you put like a uh, coil, or a, uh, you can use a coil or a condenser, or like some kind, you know, where you hook it up, let the, let the vapors travel even longer. The further it travels, the better it cools. Then you have the other end, another thing to catch the, uh, the cooked liquid, which is the alcohol. So I'm taking shortcuts here, and I'll show you how it's done. I'm doing it here. I'm doing it in my kitchen stove, or on my kitchen stove. It's going to be a hot grill instead of open flame. When you have open flames, you're taking a, a chances of an explosion here. So you turn on the oven, turn it to 173 degrees, you let it boil. There's the boiler right here, and here's where we're going to catch the uh, condensed liquid, I've, or the vapor is coming out of the um, out of the other end of the tube right here. I got a little jar right here, you can see. The hose connects right to it, and at the other end will drip nothing but pure alcohol if I do this right. Here's the hose right here, and 
Back to step number one. What I am doing is a very slow process. You don't want to have flame too hot and boil it too fast, otherwise you'll burn up the uh, liquid. It has to be a slow process. You got to be patient. And at the other end, you'll have 180, 200 proof alcohol. You have to use activated charcoal and filter it through charcoal before you can drink it. Otherwise, if you don't, you can go blind or give yourself some serious health problems. So I am not responsible for your stupidity or for your mistakes or for your death or injuries. I'm using this to make fuel for my car. This is a small canister I'm making right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bigger still eventually, like a 20 or 50 gallon still, and I'm going to start making my own fuel. So, I can ha uh, so instead of me paying $4 a gallon at the pump, it may cost me a dollar a gallon to make. Maybe a dollar fifty at the maximum. So that'll save me a couple hundred dollars a month. Like what I said, I am not responsible. You do this at your own risk if you decide to try it. Do not try this at home. No, do not try it without experience. And if you happen to try it on yourself and you get yourself hurt or somebody killed, I am not responsible. And I told you so. Do not do this. That's out of the batch I just fucking made. A little bit right here. Ooh, this smells kind of strong. Looks like we might have a little water in this shit. Let's see what happens here. Voila! Look at this shit. Out of my own brew I just made. And this shit. See the alcohol? We're going to put a little bit in it this time. Now we're going to light it. And voila! We got a nice flame. What does that tell you?